Greetings, adventurers, and welcome back to my Skyrim modded journey. Um, today, we're going to start off with fixing something I messed up before. Um, the short version is, is even though I knew what HDR was, I just didn't think about what this was saying in the context of my equipment, because my TV does not have HDR support. So, I should not have used this, because I don't have HDR. That is what has been making my game look so muted and like it's foggy all the time, even when it's like clear sky weather setting. Um, so I have put together a before and after that you can see of uh, me just coming out of the in it fall creep. And uh, yeah, now it's fixed. Looks way better. All right. Next, we are going to install strange runes. Uh, the only thing I'm not sure about is if, because uh, we use community shaders, I'm not sure if that technically comes with ENV light support. So I'm just going to see if there's any issue with it. And install. Now to use Strange Runes, we do need Papyrus Extender from Power 3. Um, I've used this before for something else. I can't remember what. So it's good because I'll almost assuredly need it again. Install with the mod manager. Requires also Power of 3's tweaks. All right. So let's install Power of 3's tweaks. And pop uh Power 3's Papyrus Extender after, right, uh, blah, 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 blah. and there we go, oh, and then, alright, put Strange Moons on, great, alright, and I realized if you, if you didn't, that, uh, oh, and we, yeah, we're in a dark room, which makes it perfect to actually see the lighting effects, um, yeah, I guess we can just try flames, yeah, look at that, cool, uh, that's pretty neat, alright, well, so, that seems to work as intended, good start. All right, the rest of what we're going to be doing is installing a bunch of mods that together will dramatically change the entire combat experience. I did a decent amount of research on it today. Um, I've decided for now to just try to forego using Nemesis. I know there's nothing wrong with Nemesis. In fact, it, it seems to be a great tool and everything. Um, I guess it's more just curiosity and, you know, to see how many, you know, if I can try to not use it, and then if I end up using it later and think that it's better kind of thing, which so many people insist that it is. But to start off, I'm going to be doing a mix of this original Mortals Enemies. People say it still does what it does. Uh, Val Robin does some similar things, but apparently they're compatible and don't have any issues. This also has a version of itself and the options that uh, lets everyone move faster than this generic version so we're going to be you know kind of seeing what works we have some options uh this is a mod that gets rid of the ice gate see so a lot of this is stuff that's in modern combat overhaul and we're just doing it without it and like i said i'm not opposed you know maybe i'll end up doing modern combat overhaul uh but we're doing this for now so we have this now and again this is why reading everything is so important um because for example Nemesis compatible does not mean requires Nemesis. Um, and after that, we've got Elden Power Attack, which uh, let's see if I can just find the section. This is mostly what it does here. Uh, it makes clicking it do the same thing it always did. Holding left, left mouse button will do consecutive attacks, I believe four of them. And then if I hold shift and uh, left mouse button, it will do the power attack. Um, and then the same thing applies to the right mouse button for right-handed stuff. And there was like an option for dual wielding block, which I think I might take because for dual wielding, it would be more important to block than to uh, attack powerfully. Uh, and then TK dodge, very popular. I will be using the uh, step dodge animation uh, instead of the roll one. I've just been a big fan of that since I played uh, Fallen Order last year. And then the big, big true directional movement, you know, and actually before that will be unlocked, uh, unlocked grip, which again does something I think, yeah, see, and this has been superseded by complex gameplay, combat gameplay overhaul. Uh, but that's not the one we're using because of some compatibility issues or something. I don't, I don't quite remember. Yeah, we're experimenting. It may turn out that I, try to do other things essentially but uh yeah and i think 
Yeah, and because for this, uh, it recommends Nemesis for the head tracking thing, but you don't need it. We're going to try. Uh, and then, yeah, we need True HUD, MCM Helper. Okay, so yeah, it looks like those are the only things we need for that. So yeah, I think we'll be able to just bust through all these real quick. And uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months. That's uh, not too many. Yeah, like I said, we're trying the original first. There is this which allows for more Mabel for more mobile melee speeds. Uh, but we're going to try the original first, plus, you know, how it might interact with everything else. So, requires that. And there's the second requirement. Elden power attack installed. And TK dodge is installed. Eve ice skating and TK dodge. One conflicting file. One hand mace behavior yes that makes sense to me and is dual sheath redux what we have no simple dual sheath all right that looks like it should be easy peasy ah this is for skyrim why it told me that is there a se version huh that's a bummer <laughs> Oh boy, I've made an error. <clears throat> so this is the main reason I didn't want to use this was because the only way to not to was to not have this roll and to instead have a uh, dodge step uh, was with using Nemesis. Um, and like I said, I'm just trying not to use it out of curiosity. And when I saw that other grip mod that turns out is for original Skyrim and there is no port for, I assumed I could just use TK dodge and get away with it. Now, having step dodge is still more important to me than having grip switching, but we're already in this today. You know, it's uh, going to take some more research down the line to decide if maybe I am going to try to figure out how to do this with Nemesis so that I can have this, or if I'll find another way around it or not. All right, now for true directional movement, we have True HUD and MCM Helper, which I believe I yep, already checked. All right, so MCM Helper, done... True HUD, True HUD installed, and True Directional Movement. Alrighty, let's give it a shot. Key Utility disabled. Yep, and it says that right there. <laughs> Why? Why this one thing? <laughs> right, and this TK Dodge RE works, but if I recall, the Step Dodge thing will not work without Nemesis. <laughs> All right, well, it's officially reached the point where not having Nemesis is becoming more of a pain in the ass. But I mean, I know I, I've used it a little bit before. I know it's not a difficult thing or anything. It was more just curiosity. And uh, <laughs> yeah, my, my current feeling is that uh, it's going to actually be easier for me just to, to start using Nemesis. Uh, I've tried using everything to work around it, and it seems like that is much more of a pain uh, than just using Nemesis. So, lesson learned, I suppose. Oh, Elden Ring power attack. So, with that, two things rely on the older version. As far as I know, everything else I have should still work on the older version. There was one thing that didn't, though. I don't freaking remember what it was. It was in one of these Reddit posts, though, that I was looking at. All right, I guess we just gotta... I'm just gonna give it a shot. Oh, cool. And there's not just an easy way. Well, I definitely hope that would be easier. <laughs> oh my god, no, that's right. Because potentially changing my game version is going to change what SKSE is based on and everything. So, I guess for now... I'm not gonna do it today, but I'm, I'm almost sure I'm going to end up uh, using Nemesis, which will change... A lot of these mods are just installed, but... Like I said, I, I felt like I wanted to, to give it a shot. Because, yeah, I need me both dodge step and the grip switching thing, which is pretty much like it's just going to be me using combat gameplay overhaul instead and uh, using the TK dodge RE. All right, so the mods we ended up with are true directional movement, true HUD, ice skating fix, mortal enemies, strange runes, and that's it. Uh, we already tested Strange Runes, so 
I guess mostly we're just making sure TDM, True HUD, and the ice game thing all work appropriately. All right, I've got my uh, settings all set up here for how I think I like TDM. Using my mouse 4 button on the side, using scroll wheel to change it, and I doubled the distance. We'll see how that works. Yeah, pretty much as long as I can see them, I can... Yeah, it's just... That's about as far as I think I, I wanted it. Cool. Let's take a look real quick at the Bell Robin settings. If you know everything. Huh, that looks like all the settings are fine. Well, yeah, because my hands are down. Huh. Let's go double check. Let's take some damage. And then run away. Shoot me. Ow. Oh. Yeah, why isn't my health displaying anymore? Oh, did I never change it back? Why not? No. When another is displayed. That seems like the, the best one. Because <clears throat> that way, I can see it. And if I'm ever, you know, and I, you know, I'm always going to be using stamina or magic when I'm in battle, as far as I know. Uh, so it'll always be up, like, after the battle. And then if I'm ever curious, I just have to use a, a spell real quick, and it'll pop up. So that works. And yeah, I mean, aside from realizing I'm maybe going to replace some of these mods with some combination of other things that use Nemesis... I don't remember if I'm making that up. I think there was a way to re replace the dodge roll and in, in combat gameplay overhaul, but I'm not 100%. I really want to dodge step, <sighs> which I can get in TK dodge, but I have to use the newer TK dodge RE, which I have to use Nemesis for, which is, as far as I know, I don't know of another, you know, I'll, I'll research it. I don't know why I'm yammering. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, we got freaking, you know, the... ENB for runes, uh, some, uh, yeah, the like rune seems to work, and you know, the true HUD and everything else seems to be working fine. So, overall, successful day. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.